me Jazz and today is a big video y'all. This is a big one. I've been waiting to make this one because all seven of these apps are absolutely, absolutely amazing. Why? All seven of these money making apps that I'm going to list today have these qualities in common. On this list you will not find any app that will need you to pay a startup fee, buy anything, sell anything, and no social media is needed for any of these apps, okay? So without buying something, selling something, paying a startup fee, or using social media to make money, these are the seven apps that I have for you guys. And no, this is not cash back stuff, this is not rebates, no gimmicks, just money. Now the first three apps that I'm gonna mention are in the same category, and this category is completing small, quick, and easy in-store tasks slash missions. But they also may be referred to as mystery shopping apps. So if you don't know what mystery shopping is, it's where companies will pay you to basically secret shop and act like a normal customer, but you're really evaluating the store, you're evaluating the workers, you're evaluating the conditions, and they want to get real people's feedback on if their products that they're paying money to be in this store, if the store is actually doing a good job displaying their products. And they will pay you pretty good money to make sure that that is happening. So they need people all over the US for this, and there's three different apps that I'm gonna recommend for you guys. The first one is ProductTube. Now ProductTube is the app that you saw in the thumbnail where I earned $1,200 thus far, over $1,200 thus far, and yes, that is absolutely true, and I have only been using this app for a year, very, very, very inconsistently and I've made over $1,200 with this one app alone and product tube is basically you apply for the mission you get approved you go to the store that the mission is located at and sometimes they are specific addresses most of the time they're not like it could be okay you can go to any Target any Walmart any CVS any Walgreens and just answer these questions while you are video recording so what some people like to do is they like to put their headphones in so that they act like they are talking to someone on the phone so it doesn't look like you're talking to yourself. Me, I don't care. It looks like I'm talking to myself. Okay, I'm making money. Whatever. <laughs> like, I don't really care. But some people, if you are subconscious about that, you can put your headphones in and just act like you're talking to someone. So that doesn't look weird. But you just answer the questions on the screen while you are recording and following the instruction. These mystery shop missions via product tube and the other two apps are in this category that I'm going to mention. All these missions are very, very short. Like, they're anywhere from three minutes to the most the most 10 minutes long. Like the longest video I've ever uploaded for an in-store mission is like 10 minutes. That's it. So they're very, very short and they pay really, really well. I just got paid for a $30 product tube where I had to go to Ulta and all I had to do was take a video of their skincare section, talk about the skincare that I'm interested in and act as if I was going to purchase it. That's it. And the video was four minutes long when I uploaded it to my product tube. It was $30, I got paid the next day. You can't beat it, okay? You cannot beat it. Download product tube, I have absolutely nothing negative to say about them. Now the next in-store mission slash mystery shopping app that I wanna let you guys know about is Field Agent. So Field Agent is a great app. It's extremely similar to Product Tube, except they pay a little bit less per mission, but they have a lot of missions and they're different missions at different stores. So you could just take one day where you do all of your missions and be like, okay, boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna do this, this, is this. You come home, you made $50 in two hours, if that, you know? It may have only taken you an hour, but you know, including drive time and things like that. So so it's really really great a couple other differences between field agent and product tube is that for field agents they have different types of missions so oh and also I totally forgot to mention that these missions are not only in store they have online missions as well so you just record your screen as you're shopping online and get paid at home to record your screen while you're shopping on that's crazy okay it's just there's so many ways to make money nowadays it's really crazy so with field agent they have different types of things whether you could do a buy and try where you're supposed to buy the product and then actually try it out and they'll pay you for that <coughs> if you want to return it go ahead and return it if you like it keep it you know that's what you want to do but you know um <laughs> then they also have reviews you can get paid to write reviews 
They also have different missions where you're actually required to interact with an employee because they want to see how the store's customer service is doing. With ProductTube, I've never been asked to interact with an employee. It's always just taking like videos of displays or taking videos of my process when I'm shopping online. So those are some of the differences between ProductTube and Field Agent. Now the third and final app that I have in the in-store mission slash mystery shop app category is Moby. Now Moby is really really great except the difference is they work on a point system but their point system does transfer to dollars and gift cards and things like that so 500 points is five dollars 1000 points is ten dollars 1500 points is fifteen dollars so on and so forth and if you sign up with my code down below you will get 300 points just for signing up with the referral link with moby it's very very similar to both field agent and product tube i like to think of it as kind of a mixture of both and they will have multiple little missions at one store which i like so definitely check out moby those are the three apps that you guys need to download to start making money literally today by just going to the store. And sometimes you don't have to go to the store, it's online. So there's absolutely no reason not to download them. Again, those three are Product Tube, Field Agent, and Moby, and all the links will be down below. Now, the fourth way that you can make money on your phone today is grocery shopping for people. So people do not like to go and get their own groceries. Well, Instacart has found a way to capitalize off of that. And Instacart, you can sign up to be an Instacart driver slash grocery shopper and you can grocery shop for people through Instacart's platform. So the amount of money that you get for each grocery shopping trip, they say it's between 10 to $15. And the amount you can make per hour depends on how fast you're able to shop for these products. So if you are pretty efficient at grocery shopping and you don't mind doing that, then you can grocery shop for other people and get paid. Instacart is a growing company, so, so they definitely have the customers and the volume for people to jump on board with this. So yeah, if you are interested in that, go ahead and download Instacart. Now the fifth money-making app to download on your phone is TaskRabbit. So you can get paid on TaskRabbit by running errands, completing small tasks, and little household to do stuff for people. You can get paid as a TaskRabbit person and you can offer, okay, I will run your errands for you. Okay, I am good at putting furniture together. I will do furniture assembly. If you're good at cleaning, I will clean your house. I will, so just doing household things for people, running errands for people and things like that. If you are good at that and you don't mind doing that, definitely sign up with TaskRabbit. So I really like the fact that with TaskRabbit you get to set your own hourly rate. So you're not going to feel like you're being lowballed or anything like that because you're setting your own price. When you go in there you see people listing for the same task, the same task maybe I'll run your errands. You have people in there that are like I'll do it for $15 an hour. You have people that say I'm not doing it for less than $30 an hour. And even though it's such a big range, they all have reviews, they have star ratings and things like that. So don't be discouraged or afraid to demand what you are worth and that's what I really like about TaskRabbit is you get to set your own price. So yeah, if you're interested in doing that, then go ahead and download the TaskRabbit app. Now the sixth app to make money on your phone is Lyft. Now I say Lyft over Uber because I have not driven for either of them. I've used both of them as a customer, but I haven't driven for either of them, but I've heard way better things about Lyft when it comes to how much the drivers get paid. So I actually know people that make over $200 a day every day on Lyft. Like Lyft, them Lyft drivers, they getting money, okay? If I wasn't so antisocial and introverted, then I would probably do that. However, well, I like to stick to delivery driving food as a side hustle. <laughs> But if you are a good driver, you don't have a bad driving record, you have good insurance, you got good miles per gallon on your car, go ahead and sign up with Lyft and you can start making money very, very soon. I think they do a background check and all that stuff, so it wouldn't be today, but it'll be this week and you can get paid a lot of money. And the longer you do it, the more money you make because you learn tips and tricks, where to go, where not to go, where to start, where to end, and things like that. So it's all tricks of the trade and it comes with time. But I do know people that get paid a lot of money from Lyft every single day. And it's definitely a great side hustle to look into. Now the seventh and final app that I have for you guys when it comes to making money on your phone is DoorDash. So DoorDash is great. I have an entire video dedicated to DoorDash on my channel and I will put that link down below. And in that video I go into depth on the tips and tricks on how to make sure that you are always making $15 to $25 plus an hour. You know, making sure that you get paid on the higher end of things because there are different tips and tricks when it comes to delivery driving and 
using a lot of these apps over time you're just gonna learn how to do things more efficiently which means you'll make more money when you can squeeze more things in a shorter amount of time so yeah definitely check out my DoorDash video but that is the seventh and final app that I have for you guys it requires no startup fees no startup costs you're not buying or selling anything and you're not using social media to promote it and yes those are the seven apps that I recommend you guys look into especially the first three the first three are so simple and so easy and it could be a great 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 side gig if you guys like this video let me know if you've heard of these apps if you haven't heard of these apps let me know down in the comments if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye